Hello, everybody, welcome to and welcome stream. back to Frozen Wilds DLC Horizon Zero Dawn. That was backwards. Anyway, I've been listening to these guys, gals, chit chat. Also, their outfits are amazing. Carja, murdered in the cut. Last thing we need is more bloodshed. There's something about the claws beneath. They keep saying, like, like it's like they're like foolish young hunters who think foolish it's the. Yeah. Cheap bows and shot oh, speed. not this. Then <laughs> act surprised when the hunt eludes them. Mm, no, it's um, it, you might have heard it when he was saying before that um. Yeah, blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> words. Uh, that they. Young hunters treat the claws beneath like it's some, you know, normal monster, like a normal machine, but apparently it's not. I don't know. It's fun to listen to, like, the dialogue that happens around you, because it can give hints on, like, the way people see you, or the way people see each other, uh, on little events that are happening. Like, you can hear him sometimes talking about, like, the things I did. Like, one guy was like, I can't believe you climbed a tall neck. Seems like a sure way to die. And I'm like, isn't that a thing you guys do? <laughs> Is do silly things and try not to die? <laughs> but you can hear some of their perspectives on others. You know, like, not just, you know, Aloy, but, like, other people. Please, no. <laughs> I don't want to fight. Okay. That was supposed to kill them. Okay. Really? You're still... Really? Okay, there we go. Oh, now... So I do... Like, we are gonna go up to here for this. But really quick, I do want to stop by here and see what these guys are all about. Hmm, I think I've almost, ooh, collections, Co collectible, frozen wild collectibles, okay. I'm like, uh, kinda halfway. <laughs> we'll catch some stuff. Easy, easy. This is how you run down steep ice covered slopes. This was not a good idea. Oh, maybe it was. Okay. Oh. Ah. oh. Okay, okay. We're done. This is good. This is good. Aloy is used to um, being going off the beaten trail. What? 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 Something tells me those are Bergwin's missing hunters. Oh, hey! You guys just chilling? I don't suppose you three know an Osraman song's edge called Burger Day. <laughs> Boys! That con artist sent an errand girl to collect what's owed to him. I'm nobody's errand girl. Burgren asked me to help harvest plants. Or would you rather keep trying to sell broken junk? Broken junk? This pack will be on the move soon. No time to argue. If she's offering to help, we should accept it. Fine. We're about to get by these machines. If you're so eager to help, then lead the way. I, I wasn't, but okay. I guess I will help. Just don't knock me away. Don't knock me away. the main ones. Okay. Oh, that's not the right one. Dang it.
I mean, I don't really have a stake in this, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, what's the wait, 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 wait. I was wondering that other one seemed like it was still in control of something. Like in the control of one of these machines. I didn't realize there were two. Pretty handy in a fight. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Not that we needed your help. We are doing just fine without you. That's not the way Bergren tells it. He says you tried to settle up with him using a shattered Thunderjaw heart. What? That's an exaggeration. It was only broken in two. <coughs> Urkai, we don't have time for this. Come on, boys, back to the hunt. We still need two more of Bergren's components. What's the rush? We want out of these lands as soon as possible. That's all you need to know. It seemed like the other guy was in charge. And these two are just like the bickering ones, but it kind of seems like she's at least the bullheaded one, but maybe they listen to the guy whenever he speaks the other guy. Why are you leaving the cut? Well, we could go back to Banor. Let Anakut slit our throats. By the blue light, Orkai. Why don't you just write our story in the snow for any passing hunter to read? We had a dispute with the chieftain of our old Warak. We thought someone else should have been in charge. He disagreed. It seemed like a good time to move on. So, we are traveling to the sun. Dang, that's, um, that's huge, honestly. Like, leaving the place of, like, not even gonna stay in your own, like, country area with, like, a, an environment that you're familiar with. From here to the Sundom, it's a long trip. Seems worth it. Sometimes survival is about knowing when to leave and where to go. Yeah. And in this case, survival means us getting as far away as we can from Bonor. We've seen enough red snow. What's the plan once you get there? What will survival be about then? Look, all that matters is that we get there. And to do that, we need shards. So if you'll excuse us. So this Thunderjaw heart you brought Bourbon. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Why would it matter that the heart was broken into two pieces? Can't you just stick it back together? Of course you can't just stick it back together. I just meant... <laughs> oh, I bet that scam artist Osterman could. He just wants to send us on another stupid errand. Oh, he's not so bad. I like Bergrind. Like him? Tulamot, he sent us out in the snow to nearly die under the feet of a Thunderjaw, and... Boys, shut up! Ugh. Every time someone brings up that stupid heart... Oh, my bad. <laughs> I've got the Scorcher Claw Bergen was asking for. That only leaves the Stalker Sinew and the Snap Mothang. You should hold on to it. You're coming along to the next hunt after all, aren't you? I suppose somebody's got to keep you three out of trouble. Fine. I guess you'll have to tag along then. But don't start thinking you're one of us. The bloody snowdrifts aren't accepting new hunters. <laughs> bloody snowdrifts? That's what you want to call our Warwick? Yeah, it's not great to talk. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like your names are in <laughs> You. We're headed northwest to the ruins near Hollow Hall. We'll be waiting. Don't wait. You, you can do your own stuff. I'm I'm leaving. I have important things to deal with. At least they weren't actually in trouble. I can go with a clear conscience. Hmm. Yeah. That was easy. Give it. Another control tower. Oh my gosh, there's more quests in here? Dang. Like, okay. Okay, dope. Let's see who's here. Watchers? No, there's stalkers here too. I was gonna, I was curious how I was gonna get a stalker seeing you because I haven't seen any so far. I almost fell into a big trap. I see that right there back there. It's gonna. Oh, jeez. Um, get back into cover. 
Um, I see the mines. There it is. Oh boy. I think I did it. want that anyway. I didn't get a stalker thing. Dang it. Oh well. I probably have to go to where they are exactly. I already gave him the Scorcher thing, though. That was from- I guess that was from that particular quest. I've got some blue gleam. Might as well trade it's it. It's true. I do have some blue gleam. I got all these from... I outfit satchels full? I need to save up for the- for that one. Let's see... Not too worried about those. Uh, boy, what do I want? Further reduce your visibility. Sure, that's always a good one to have. Talk to our talk. I will. Outlander. It would be my honor to speak with you. Oh. I, might, I mean, freaking, I'm the chieftain of the Warak, and then I just took off. <laughs> like, uh, oh, cow. This was not well thought out. I've heard of you, Huntress. Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hmm. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Umnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. Oh. They call it the Claws Beneath. Or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip... My bones ache, Huntress. But you... Out hunting Aratak. Leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You... Want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. So, I think the DLC is kind of, at some points, acting like I have done all the things, like like that I'm playing in the end game, right? Which is fair. Uh, just currently, this Aloy is not <laughs> end game Aloy, but like it is, it is, because I keep thinking of it like it is, like oh yeah, because like somebody at one point said something similar, where it's like. I've heard of your deeds or some something where it was just like the way Eloy was like oh I understand I can't remember exactly what it was but it was like oh yeah that's referring to all the stuff she's done and then it was like wait this Eloy hasn't done that but but this is interesting that we're running into the claws beneath right after I hear somebody talking about a woo you want me to hunt in your place is that some kind of banuka custom 
Perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banu hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the claws, than to die while it still makes children orphans. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands. Noticed, for the first time, the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. Oh, that's really depressing, honestly. <laughs> like, oh. Wow. <laughs> I think a lot of people, no matter how old or young you are, kind of have a... Uh, I guess uh, a similar relationship with aging where that a lot of people like fear it some people accept it but like there's always that like you know you can no longer do the things you once did and there's always some regret to that I think but it's like man like I'd like to think that there's you know I don't know and I guess the, for the Banuk they live on through their songs but they don't they, they think of the machines as eternal but not them so for the Banuk in particular when they die they see it as an end, like a complete end, you know, and you only live on through story. So, ugh, that's depressing. <laughs> this machine, the claws beneath, why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs, they include a refrain, the return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. We've hunted this thing before. It must have been 20 winters past. We were so close to bringing the claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. Me? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then. A skilled hunter. Every few years, the claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt. I had hoped to complete it in his honor. This is obviously important to you, Unok. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? No, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Unok. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the claws beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well. Oh, so past here? Yeah, right? No. The northeast edge of the cut. We are in the northeast edge. Oh, it's gonna be that northeast edge, okay. I guess we're kind of in the southeast. Yeah, 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 okay. I'm just like, for, like you know, as pertaining to my position, I'm like, oh, the northeast is over here, but I have to look at it in the wider perspective. Okay, let's see how many quests are here for me. Oh, as an Osram. You're Aloy, right? My pop. <gasps> oh, yeah. Friend, I mean, told me you might be heading up to see me. Varja. Pleasure. So you're not. What? Hey, that spear is really something. You've customized her, haven't you? I've made a change or two. 
You've got an eye for weapons. I wish these Banuk agreed with you. I can't seem to sell scrap to a Glen talk around here. Everyone wants boring old bows and spears. I like the more unusual stuff. And the Banuk can get unusual. Like that spear Ara talk hauls around? An ice rail. It's Ooh, mine now. That weapon of Araya's? What I wouldn't give to poke around inside one of those. Feel the lightning on my fingers. I got him. Or inside of anything, really. Last commission I had was a month ago. A weapon that spat fire. I also have that one. That didn't go well. I've got... <laughs> yeah, that was for the <laughs> freaking... The bandit guy. Ugh. Anyway, I thought the other Osram woman back at Song's Edge, or whatever it is, was his daughter, and that I wasn't actually going to get to talk to her. But here she is. <laughs> A weapon that spits flame, huh? Like this one? I took this thing off an Osram bandit. Osram, that's right. Think you could do anything with it? <laughs> you got my forge fire back? Well, if you took down Olgrid and his goons for this thing... I guess she's yours now. Why don't you finish it for me first? Make it... make her into the weapon she was supposed to be. Thought you'd never ask. Oh my you goodness. You need a bellowback snout. Any bellowbacks will do. Can you handle it alone? I think I can manage that. So, let's say someone you know happened to have a weapon like Araya's. You don't. <laughs> yourself. Of course. Look at the... So the coils generate the spark, but the power source isn't even bolted in. I won't lie, she's beautiful. But there's beautiful and then there's beautiful. What we need is a Stormbird Talon. Lightning flows over them like water off a goose. And I know where one is. Hunt it with me, I'll turn that weapon into your new best friend. And second best. I don't think I have any of these because they're very unique items that I probably can't get a hold of unless I have acquired this quest first. I've got a nice rail, just like Aratox. It is Aratox. You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I, I love I just that. made this woman's whole freaking life. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these... Yeah, that should... Right. So, believe it or not, she's operating at, let's be generous, half her potential. What's with the she's? Oh. Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. <laughs> um, well, listen. If we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with, her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one. If you want to go hunting with me. It sounds like, like this woman, I think she would marry me right here and now with all these things. And, like, with all these weapons that I just happen to be, like, pulling out of my back somewhere. So we need parts from a Stormbird and a Thunderjaw? And you know where to find them. That's right. It's gonna take some traveling, though. We can find a Thunderjaw out in the Valley Meet, and a Stormbird roost near the Free Heat. I'll pack and meet you out there. This'll be fun. Okay. Angler's like, okay, uh... <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Long Notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more frost cross. Our numbers rise. Three more hunters have passed their trials. Oh, is Aratark still acting like chief? That's fine. But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with his course. Sounds like good advice, but... Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain, the weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came That's back. right, she did get captured. And that's, I didn't even think about that, actually, in context with this, that, like, he would have, she would have been gone, and, like, her brother was here, and, you know, like, he, he finally gets her back, and that's why he's so protective of her. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, she's adept with machines, tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring. 
where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit, her purpose. And now that's all she has. She has you. No, don't, don't sell yourself short, man. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door, some kind of cauldron, new metal. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted, no way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Array to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal, that dead hum. Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death, that's what the mountain holds. Death for us or for the daemon. And if we do find the spirit, then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. Dang. I didn't think he'd say that. But it's interesting that he is so protective of her in, in many ways because the Banook are like, you know, oh, survive, endure. Like, I'm sure she was given great accolades in some ways for surviving what she did. But at the same time, like, it's, I don't know, there would, there would be like an oddness to that, you know, where it's like she was used... It wasn't, like, an honorable survival. But I guess even, like, survival in and of itself isn't really honorable. Like, I think the Banook really... It's, like, whatever it takes to survive, kind of. But they still have, like, an honor code. Anyway, that's a distraction. That's a philosophical debate I could get into, I guess. And just go around in circles. But, anyway, I am gonna call this episode here for now. Because I think it's gonna be a little too long if we try to keep going. But... Thank you all so much for watching. After this, we'll go up the mountain and talk to Aurea and hopefully get inside this new cauldron. But yes, thank you all so much again for watching. I appreciate it. And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons, but to specifically my sapling tier patron, Reese Colito. Thank you so much for your support. And Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You're the super bestest and I really appreciate it. Thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.